Welcome to the DON. The Distributed Observer Network is an immersive collaborative engineering environment built on gaming technology. Upon startup of the application, the user will generally be taken to the simulation load screen. From here, the user is able to start a new simulation in standalone mode or join the simulation server. To join a simulation, the user must have proper authentication. If this is the first time the application is being run, the user will be taken to the Preferences window. In Preferences, the user can set their username, the avatar, custom avatar attributes, master server location, system preferences, keyboard configuration, and the volume of VoIP transmission. Starting a standalone simulation is as simple as selecting the name of the mission and clicking Open. The DON has modularized each of the simulations into a simple folder structure that comprises all the assets required to run a single simulation, including telemetry, lights, graphical assets, models, and the necessary configuration files. If the user joins a server that is running a simulation that is not on the user's local machine, the DON client will automatically download the necessary assets from the server. After the simulation has completed loading, the user is presented with a main DON window. The system has just informed us that we have been granted telemetry controller status. The DON has a control scheme in which only one connected user can have controller status, allowing that user to select which telemetry stream to load and play back. Any user can request control from the telemetry controller. This particular mission has only one telemetry stream associated with the simulation. The DON also has the capability to receive and process streaming data sent real time. Once the telemetry stream is loaded, the user will automatically be taken to the playback menu. The VCR-like controls give the telemetry controller the ability to play the simulation backwards or forwards, change the rate that is being played, to skip to the beginning or the end, loop the simulation, or scrub through the simulation. Both playback and select telemetry can be accessed through the control submenu. Request for control is also accessed from the control submenu. While the main menu at the bottom of the screen is active, the mouse cursor is visible and the user is unable to look or move around the 3D environment. The space key is the default key to deactivate the main menu. When the main menu is deactivated, the user can move and look around the 3D environment using the WASD keys and the mouse. To reactivate the menu, the user will press the space key. The majority of the DON GUI is occupied by the visualization display. At the bottom of the screen is the main menu. At the very top is the information banner. The information banner will display time-enabled notes, the name of the current telemetry controller, and the current simulation time. The information bar also has a set of toggle buttons. From left to right, the buttons toggle the graphic data window, the text data window, system messages, and chat messages. The system messages are displayed in this upper left window. The system messages displayed here include user connects and disconnects, notes, and telemetry loads. Having been built on top of a game engine, the DON has a full suite of collaboration tools found in modern first-person shooters and massive multiplayer online role-playing games. This includes text chatting, which allows users to communicate to others with text. The text chat window is below the system window. It is accessed by pressing the chat hotkey, which by default is H. The DON also features voice over IP, commonly referred to as VoIP, which allows users to collaborate via voice communication. By default, the key to activate VoIP is the R key, when this key is pressed and held, a speaker icon appears on the information banner just to the right of the toggle buttons. This indicates that when the user is speaking, the voice will be transmitted to all other users. Since the DON environment is a fully immersive 3D environment, the user can view the simulation from any angle. The user may want to save a view to go back to later or to share with other users. This can be done through the camera window under the Collaboration submenu. The camera window allows for the creation and deletion of cameras. 
a newly created camera will appear at the user's current position. The camera window also allows for the modification of a camera's name and whether it is a fixed view camera or not. Cameras can be cycled using the right mouse button. The order in which a camera is cycled is based on the order in the camera list window. This order can be modified. The user can change the view by clicking a camera from the camera list and pressing switch view. When a camera has been created, all other users in the same simulation will be able to jump to the newly created camera. When a user jumps to a camera point, the name of the camera will appear on the information banner. If the camera is a fixed view camera, the user will not be able to move around and a fixed view icon will also appear in the information banner. If the camera is tethered to an object, the tether icon will appear in the information banner as well. Users can tether themselves to objects driven by telemetry. This is done by selecting an object. The object will be highlighted in red. All users of the system will see the same object highlighted in red. This will allow all system users to reference the same object. Once the object is selected, the user can press Tether under the Collaboration submenu. The user's camera will now move relative to the selected object. To untether, simply press the Tether button again. To create a tethered camera view, create a new camera while the user is tethered. Users can also create notes for other users to see. This is done through the Notes window under the Collaboration submenu. Notes will have a title, content, a timestamp and a camera. Once a note is created, it can be modified, but the position and orientation of the user at the moment of creation is the camera view that is associated with the note. If Enable Timestamp is checked, the time of the note's creation is the timestamp that is associated with the note. When the SIM time reaches the note's timestamp, the title of the note appears in the left of the information banner. To get a full roster of users who are connected to the system, click on User List under the Collaboration submenu. From here, the Telemetry Controller can also give control to another user. The Dawn also has the capability to display text overlays and image overlays. This is done through a series of slash commands embedded in the telemetry file. For more information on this product, please visit www.valador.com.